Hello friends! Welcome on this episode of Incredible Innovations. In this episode we will see new competitors in the race of autonomous air taxi and VTOLs. Please watch till the end to know what new VTOLs have come up and leave your comments to let us know which one you like most or which one will be a success. Bartini Bartini's electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft promises something which other VTOLs cannot do with range and flight time. California-based Highpoint is collaborating with Bartini for this project. Highpoint has developed turbo air-cooled fuel cell. The fuel cell can make these air taxis to travel further and longer. Fuel cell provides more energy density when compared to lithium batteries. When we compare Bartini Air Taxi for performance, numbers are really encouraging. It can reach a speed of 300 km per hour and an altitude of 3,500 meters. With fuel cell it has a range of 550 kilometers and a flight time of 120 minutes. By 2025 they are planning to launch fully functional aircraft in the sky. Sky Machine Martini is not the only aircraft which is using hydrogen fuel cell powertrain. Alakai Technologies Sky Machine is another contender in this category. Sky Machine has a six rotor design that needs thirst all the time. It Safety wise, Sky has six multicopter, so it can fly even if some goes down. Besides that, it has an airframe parachute. Currently, the Sky Machine claims to have a range of 400 miles and it can run for four hours. Sky Machine's prototype is very impressive. Sky has the real chance of getting ahead in this race of VTOLs, because 4 hours of flight time and 400 miles makes it unique in this category. Australian company Alata has some really really huge ambition. They want to be the first company to start Formula 1 racing in the sky. Airspeeder is Octocopter, which can reach a maximum speed of 200 km per hour. They have tested multiple prototypes. The latest design is Mark IV. Mark IV is 4 meters long and 3.5 meters wide. Airspeeder is equipped with LiPo batteries to have a power discharge rate of 500 kilowatts. This power discharge is responsible for its maximum speed of 200 kilometers per hour. In the Goodwood Festival of Speed, they showcased Airspeeder Mark IV. Matt Pearson, the CEO and founder of Airspeeder, thinks that the world is ready for air motorsports race. British company Seraph has another contender. Equipped with 12 rotors, Vertical Aerospace can carry a payload of 250 kilograms. It can reach a maximum speed of 80 kilometers per hour. Aircraft looks impressive and creating a beautiful aircraft is not a small feat, but looking at the current competition, 20 minute flight time and low payload carrying capacity, it is not in the race.
but Vertical Aerospace is making changes to make it ready for commercial taxi operations. We wish they will come back with a better aircraft. Detroit-based company, Airspace Technologies Electrical Vertical Takeoff and Landing Aircraft Moby One has taken a big leap from its concept model to a working prototype, which was tested in May 2019. Moby One has a tilt-wing design. During takeoff, rotors are parallel to the ground which provide enough thirst for liftoff. Moby One is inspired by XC-142, an aircraft from 60s. Moby One has the capacity of carrying a payload of 1,100 pounds. It can reach a maximum speed of 300 miles per hour. It has a range of 260 miles with hybrid model. Moby One is planning to go in production in the year 2021. They are planning to use their aircraft for cargo, passenger, and medical emergency. Hexa Hexa by Liftcraft is a new personal VTOL. This ultralight aircraft is made of carbon fiber and weighs only 432 pounds. So no pilot license required by the FAA. There are three ways to fly this aircraft, joystick, autopilot, and touch screen. So you can pick and choose. Eighteen independent electric motors and propellers provide a perfectly stable flight. Hexa is amphibious. Four perimeter floats and one center float provide stability and safe landing in water. Safety is one of the great features in Hexa. Even if up to six motors stop working it will land safely, but they have not stopped. They have provided autonomous ballistic parachute when things go south. At the moment it can fly for 15 minutes, with a maximum speed of 101 km per hour. Have a side. Kitty Hawk's Heaviside is another new flying car project which is coming along. This beautiful looking aircraft has a tilting propellers. The current model claims to cover the distance between San Jose and San Francisco in 15 minutes. That is a speed of about 200 miles per hour. But Kitty Hawk is not promoting those as it's the main feature. They claims that it has the quietest flight sound. The noise created by this aircraft is 100 times less than a traditional helicopter. Makers of Kitty Hawk think this feature makes Heaviside more acceptable. Heaviside can be used for personal travel and air taxi. Blackfly Canadian company opener has designed this single-seater aircraft Blackfly. This ultralight aircraft has a range of 40 km and has a maximum speed of 100 km per hour. Black Fly comes with triple modular redundant flight systems, control surfaces, and sensors. Black Fly has completed over 10,000 miles of test flights. It also has auto landing and return to home features to add extra usability. The company says the single passenger, 
Joystick operated system requires no formal licensing in the USA to fly. The opener will mandate that users take the FAA private pilot written examination and complete its operator training program.